Well, you had Mayhew, a veteran presence to the lineup. How, how is he going to impact the team at the center position in terms of obviously he's going to play, you know, who's going to lose some playing time potentially with the addition of him and how are you going to use him? Well, we'll keep that to ourselves for now. <laughs> but he'll play, yeah. He's, he's, uh, he'll, be, he'll be right in the lineup there. He's a good veteran guy that's played. Plays on the wing. He's very crafty. He's tenacious. So we'll uh, we'll get him involved here. He played on the line today with Frankie and Scenes. So that's where we're going to start him. What, did the organization identify that as a big need, another veteran presence on this team? Yeah, I mean, I think we felt like, you know, when you have an opportunity to add a good player like him, the caliber of him, then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely look at it and entertain it. And, uh, so that's kind of the route we went, yeah. And as part of that, getting him and another voice to help work with the young guys in addition to your coaches? Yeah, I mean, I think it's always good. And the season's long, right? You need those guys around. And I think we, we know he was in Iowa. We know him a little bit. We obviously watch him when he's in Charlotte. So um, he, guys have that help in the room, and they help on the ice as well. You obviously got a good look at Artie in the uh, training camp portion of the year. But now that you got him down here in Rockford first week, what are your thoughts of his play over the weekend? Yeah. Honestly, he wasn't in camp, right? So we missed him in camp. Yeah, no, not to. But uh, so this is first, like our small sample, first two games. So uh, watch him a video, obviously in college, but the pro game is different. But he, uh, I thought, I thought he did some things that you can see that the ceiling and the potential is extremely high. And uh, you know, there's some things he's a young kid that he's got to work on in the pro game. But uh, yeah, we're really excited about him. Fully recovered from that foot injury too, or yep, starting to yep. get 100 percent. Yeah, he looked like it, man. He can skate, so he looks like it. <laughs> what is the biggest challenge he faces as at his young age as a teenager? Um, I, I mean, I think with a lot of these guys, it's it's the same. It's just off the ice, learning to be pro. But you're playing against men every day. You know, you're playing against uh, guys that played in the NHL that wants to get to the NHL, bigger bodies, smarter players, learning how to defend against those guys and. Uh, but again, I thought I saw some glimpses of really positive things in those areas. So uh, just keep working on that. How long does it take for a guy like that to learn just the system and, and what you guys are running here? Great question. <laughs> I think everybody's different, right? We'll see. He, he seems to be pretty aware. He seems to be in tune. He asks questions. So, But you never know. Everybody's different, right? Some guys pick it up one, two games. Some guys it takes a couple weeks. So, But uh, yeah, we'll see. A little bit of an offensive outburst on Saturday. What was really uh, clicking for you guys in that five-goal uh, win over the Moose? I think we had we had uh, a lot of bodies attacking the net at the same time. Uh, arrived at the net at the same time when the puck came. Uh, I thought uh, you know we made some plays uh, to kind of create some of those opportunities uh, from our D zone and up. And then that, those when we made those plays, you get numbers in the rush, and, and we're a fast team, right? Speaking of uh, guys on the D-line, Isaac Phillips obviously back to Chicago today. It's been uh, you, you, it's been a little while in the first two weeks for him. Do you hope to kind of get some consistency with him here, whether it's in Chicago or Rockford? And what have the conversations been like with uh, Chicago up there? No, I mean, he's he, he, right now he, we're in the situation where and he, Isaac's awesome. He's a pro, right? Uh, we had a good chat about it. He understands. I thought he played really well on Sunday. Obviously, he wants to be in NHL. He wants to play in NHL, but he knows that when he comes down here, he gets opportunity to play. and. We'll work with him, but you know, there's no. We're in American League. Things happen all the time, and he's aware of it. He's been here long enough now, so I thought he, he handled it really well. Now, I know we've talked about him already before, but Savoie had a pretty good weekend up there. I mean, what have you seen from him just the first couple of weeks? Yeah, I'm impressed. Like, love his energy, enthusiasm, uh, plays with pace. He's tenacious. He gets in on guys. Uh, a lot of things that uh, they're really happy with. You know, so. Just very encouraging. And uh, what did you see from Weeks, who started both games with Comesso going up to Chicago? He looked solid in both games. Yeah, we liked him, right? Yeah, I think it's the first time he played back-to-back -back for us. Uh, so that was a good test for him. I thought he was good Sunday, too. Obviously, on Saturday, it was real good. But Sunday, he played well and could have gone, probably could have gotten a point out of it. But It's kind of rare nowadays that you see two defensemen on a power play unit, but you had Kevin and Archim on that top unit. What led to that decision, and what did you think of that five group? Uh, we wanted to try it. Right? I think they're both crafty players. They're both, uh, you know, they can handle situations like that. Um, obviously, you know, I thought the first game we had some looks there. Uh, second game we kind of sputtered a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I liked what I saw. and It's a work in progress, right? It's early in the year, but we wanted to try it and go from there.